60 written time. And very rhythmic. Yeah. 22. This one <laughs> I've been around music my entire life. I have an older brother who played violin, so when I was growing up there was always music in the house. So when I went to college, I knew that I wanted to continue to be involved in music some way. Conducting refers to, okay, when you're actually in rehearsal and performance working with a group. Maybe this popular conception that a conductor is the person who stands in front of an ensemble line is the one who tells everybody how it should be. But I think the most effective conductors understand that it's really you're just one among many collaborators. The most important skill for a conductor to, to have and to develop is really learning how to, to listen. The conductor is also the most public facing in a certain way member of the orchestra when interfacing with the audience, so that's another part of the, the job as well. Yeah, so it can generally be very relaxed with the triplet. So it can be quite deliberate in this. Right, so the, the tricky thing is that it's right where the part gets harder that we move more. So so just uh, just just take note of that. Could you try that one more time for good measures? Coming along really nicely. It's a relatively young orchestra. We're in our 12th season right now. And it was started by a colleague and a friend of mine who was another conductor. One of the things that's unique about this group is that I'm not the only artistic director. Um, I have a colleague who's another one of the artistic directors and conductors. And everybody in the orchestra actually serves double duty or triple duty. When I'm not conducting, I'm actually also a member of the orchestra. So I think that helps to build a certain type of camaraderie that you don't find in every group. That conducting is just one part of what I do in my work in music. So I'm also a scholar of music history and I'm a professor at Connecticut College and of course there is a teaching component to that as well. So on one day it might be more conducting oriented, let's say if I'm coming into New York to, to lead a rehearsal or, or to do a concert. Um, there might be other days that are more teaching-centric, where I might be at Connecticut College, teaching a class, meeting with students, working with the student orchestra there. There might be other days when I'm working on my own research, so I might be in an archive somewhere or just working from my home office, writing something. So um, a typical week will probably involve a combination of all of those things.